is inevitable that a Smash Bros port of the Wii U version will be coming to the Nintendo Switch at some point, and there's a very likely chance it will come sometime in 2018, but what will really make Nintendo fans double down after already owning it on the Wii U? New characters of course. We've seen Nintendo add new ones to both the Switch ports of Mario Kart 8 and Pokémon Tournament, so it's certainly not out of the realm of possibility that Smash Bros will get the same treatment. For this video I've compiled a few obvious choices, as well as a few not so obvious that I'd like to see make the roster for a potential Switch version. To start we have a pretty essential addition, an inkling from the Splatoon series. Splatoon first arrived in 2015, a year after Smash Bros released on the 3DS and Wii U, so it's no surprise they didn't appear as a character, but what better time than for a potential Switch port to introduce them. With their unique ink based abilities, they probably aren't the easiest to implement but provided it's executed well, could be a really fun, distinctive character to play as, painting the iconic stages with their blasters. Second we have Captain Toad from Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, a game that spawned following the positive reception of the minigames that featured in Super Mario 3D World. Toad is a familiar face, existing in the Mario games ever since the beginning, so adding him in only seems natural. His main weapon would be a pickaxe, but with a large rucksack on his back, he could also pull out various weapons to use on other players. The extra weight he carries would make Toad a surprisingly heavy and therefore slow character compared to those of a similar size. Next is a Rabbit, a character that would have seemed an odd fit for Smash Bros up until the release of the surprisingly good Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle that puts Nintendo's most valuable character alongside those from Ubisoft's offshoot Rayman series. Just like in Kingdom Battle, Rabbids could have various costumes that resemble that of the different Nintendo series and utilise weapons from the game, like the blaster for some long range attacks and a hammer for close combat. With the recent release of Xenoblade Chronicles 2, it would be great to see the main protagonist Rex make his way into the roster. Much like Shulk, Rex could have different modes to switch between, very much like in Xenoblade itself, changing between three different blades that each have different combos, speed and power, that despite being essentially another sword wielder, would be quite unique, giving the player plenty of diversity in how he plays. For the fifth possible addition, we have a lesser known Nintendo character from many of the others featured in this video, Isaac from Golden Sun. There have only been three Golden Sun games in the series, with the last releasing on the DS back in 2010. However, many have requested for the silent hero of the first two games as a character ever since Melee. Isaac would have an assortment of sword related moves, but also synergy attacks allowing him to utilise four different elemental abilities. Originally making his debut in Mario Tennis, Waluigi has been a sought after character for Smash Bros for quite a while, however has always been relegated to just an assist trophy. Waluigi would use a tennis racket as his main weapon, as well as make use of his long legs for some kicking abilities and high jumps, as well as play heavily on the comical slapstick nature of his personality. He may not be nearly as iconic as Mario, Luigi or Wario, but he'd feature a moveset that's certainly different enough to warrant promoting him to a fully fledged member of the Smash Bros team. For the following suggestion we have King K. Rool, the main antagonist in the Donkey Kong series and one of the most reoccurring villains in the whole of Nintendo's history. Due to his size he would be a heavy type much like Bowser and utilise his crown to attack players, either by throwing it or charging at them head down. Alternatively he could also don boxing gloves like he does in the final boss of Donkey Kong 64 for some low damage quick jab moves. Another much requested character and villain for a very long time, Ridley from the Metroid series. With the recent long overdue announcement of Metroid Prime 4, there's no better time than to finally add the space pirate into the roster. It was previously stated Ridley wasn't added due to his large size and not wanted to shrink him down for Smash Bros, but provided they could get past that, Ridley would be a great inclusion, especially considering the lack of Metroid characters in the game outside of the two forms of Samus. With each release of Smash Bros has come a character from the latest generation of Pokemon games and no doubt the most universally liked fully evolved starter in Sun and Moon is Decidueye. Although Decidueye has only just been placed into Pokemon Tournament, I see no reason for it not to make its way into Smash Bros as well. With it being primarily a grass type, it would make for a perfect blend considering we already have the fire type Charizard and water type Greninja in the game. For the 10th on the list we have Banjo and Kazooie. Banjo and Kazooie of course started out as a Nintendo series that was created by Rare, however due to Microsoft's acquisition of Rare back in 2002 meant their addition into Smash Bros suddenly became not so easy. However with Phil Spencer himself saying in 2015 he would like to see the 2S Smash Bros DLC, getting the rights for the classic N64 characters to join the fray looks entirely possible and considering their heritage would fit right in with the rest of the cast. 
Last but certainly not least is the Ice Climbers. The Ice Climbers were introduced in Melee and quickly became a favourite amongst players, however despite even appearing in Brawl were omitted from the latest release. The duo were created and fully playable in the Wii U version during development, but due to struggling to get the two characters to run together on the lesser hardware of the 3DS and wanting parity between the two versions were ultimately removed completely. With a release of a potential Switch version, it would be great fan service to reintroduce them back into the series. There's certainly been a lot of outcry for them, and they were arguably the most unique character in the lineup. Do you agree with this list? Which ones would you add or remove? Let me know down in the comments. That's it for today. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to see more content just like this. Click the thumbnail on the left or right for another of my videos. Thanks for watching as usual, and I'll see you on the next video.